five years or ten years. When I was um, being asked um, by our church's pulpit search committee, you know, what are your plans for the church? And I said, I don't have plans for the church. My idea is that God will tell me what the church needs to do. I'm not quite sure where I want to be in five years. I, I, I want to, I do know I want to do something that continues to serve my calling as a minister. Hopefully I want to do something that continues to serve my calling as a musician. Um, I could visualize the possibility that perhaps as my wife and I uh, get a little closer to her retirement, that maybe the two of us could work uh, more closely together, maybe, you know, um, going around the schools as a team teaching kind of thing, doing more of these kind of camps. Um, as my children get older, I, I, I would hope and pray that they would find careers that they can enjoy and appreciate and, and really have joy in. And as they grow up, that, you know, sort of frees the two of, that will free the two of us up to, uh, you know, to explore some new things. Um, as our church, again, continues to mature, I would hope that our church would get to the level where we're doing um, outreach in a lot of different ways. So, again, our church, I would like to see it being a place where artists feel comfortable going. Um, in Detroit, you know, where I, where I live, there has been a lot of economic hard times. One of the first things schools tend to do is cut the um, music and art budget. And so one of the visions that I had was that just as churches are always building basketball courts to give the athletic kids something to do, it would be great to have studios that would cater to the artistic kids, the kids who who draw and paint. I mean, I, I do some drawing and, and painting and work with pastel and charcoal. And the kids who are interested in music, to give them sort of that first place to go and learn how to play music. So that's one thing that I would hope in five years is uh, more, more um, developed than it is right now. And, and uh, But it's really in the hands of the Lord. I don't know what... Uh, what I'll be doing in five years. I, I hope I'll be alive and well and healthy and, and, and everybody will be coming along nicely, but I don't know. When you think about your legacy, you know, it's interesting that I think other people will interpret who you are and what you've done and what you've meant to them. It would be certainly a wonderful thing to feel like you've touched some people that you've made a difference in some people's lives and that they understood that you were honest to your calling, to the things that God would have you to do and the talents that God has given you to work with. Um, I used to know a, a great man, um, vice president of Wayne State University where I graduated. His name was Arthur Johnson and I asked him that question. What would you like to you know, be remembered for, what would you like your legacy to be? And his answer was, I hope that people will say that he did all he could with what he had. And that's a pretty good legacy, to do all you can with what God has given you to work with. It's about all any of us can, can hope to uh, accomplish, I think, in this life. I must confess, I never thought about what I wanted on my tombstone. Um, I think the people who are closest to you don't necessarily think about the, the accomplishments that the world sees, you know. Um, if your children can say that you were, you know, a loving father, or if your wife can say that you were a good husband, if people who are around you can say that you were a mentor, you know, if your church can say that you were their pastor, I bet that's, that's good enough, man. You go along through this life, and the rest of it is it's just kind of, you know, gravy. It's, it's almost superfluous. You would hope and pray that the people closest to you would be the ones who felt that your life had some meaning in their life and that whatever they learn from you allows them to go on and be better people. I guess, you know, husband, father, pastor, musician. Well, we